Shalom. First and foremost, uh, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, and Karkadash. Double honors to the elders of Asas, Great Millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim, uh, I'd be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. I say uh, shalom to you, Akim, out there. On its uh, Friday afternoon, on its uh, December the 17th, 2021. And I'll bring out this uh, article as I do this uh, quick sit down lesson on this Friday afternoon. And this is from ARAPnews.com. And the highlight of this news article it says the death toll in the far tribal. Clashes reach 199. It says a peace deal struck with the key rebels groups last year saw a main conflict in the Dafar subside, but the region has remained awash with weapons. At least 199 people have been killed in the Sudan. Retress the far and tribe clashes over the past two months. The medic said on Friday, urging the government to stop the bloodshed. The clashes triggered by disputes over land, livestock, and access to water and agriculture and has hit several parts of the Defar since early October. And it says the Independent Doctors Committee says 199 people have been killed, most of them shot dead. It says they are, there are no con conscript steps being taken for any side to stop the violence. The state's its absence as well as the justice system and police are nowhere to be found. It said in a statement, right? So. You know, after bringing this out, you know, these goes back to the examples of uh, other scriptures of uh, that should be up wars of the people and the complexity of nations. I roughly paraphrase and I'm gonna bring out a scripture for that. And this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 3. And it reads, Therefore, one shall there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, right? Yeah, and, and it did mention you still seen uh, earthquakes. Yeah, you see uh, the of, of earthquakes uh, around the world with the uh, 7.3 magnitude of uh, earthquake over there in Indonesia and the uh, earthquake over there in uh, Portland the northwest region over there off the off the offshores of a uh, region of portland the uh, upper northwest regions where they had like uh tornadoes i believe uh, a lot of tornadoes in the past 24 hours and it rains with those so you know you seeing that as well too and you see in storms just like that major storm hit the uh over there in Indonesia. It was a lava incident, I believe. It was about a volcano incident. It was like uh, thirty or forty plus people had that from that. And then you had that storm over there in uh the Philippines, that typhoon, you know, it was about like twenty plus people had that from that or fourteen people, if that's accurate. So, you know, you see uh, signs of these uh, things with earthquakes in diverse places, like in the book of Isaiah 29 and 6. The earth shall be visited of the Lord of hosts with storms and tempests, tempests and the devourings of fire. You know, for an example, I roughly paraphrase those scriptures, you know. And, you know, uh, the uproars of the people, just like I brought in the news article out. About uh, 199 people have died in uh, clashes in uh, the region of uh, Sudan. And that, that's what you call uh, upwards of the people. Like the scripture says, they should regard nor their kings nor their princes. 
those are scriptures for an examples that uh, refers to these uh, um, examples of news article like this, you know. And so with that, you know, I, that's all I just wanted to bring out this little uh, quick lesson. And this uh, article right here, you know, I just wanted to bring it out. Just a little quick sit down lesson for this uh, December the 17th. 2021 on this uh friday afternoon and it shows more of a increase of uh up worlds of the people with the um, water the waters mandates if you know what i mean and potential lockdowns and you know people are uh protesting about it and that's what you call up worlds of the people to fight for their freedom you know fight for their uh that livelihood you know because they don't want to have no more lockdowns and you know they opposing or going against the waters and the mandates and stuff like that and that's what the up worlds of the peoples and the the complexity of these uh nations which is going against their governments they should regard nor their kings nor their princes which is examples like that to refers to the news articles to be backed up with the biblical scriptures as we has been brought out, you know, or being quoted, I roughly paraphrase, you know, and so with that, once again, I hope this was edifying, the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, and the heavenly father's true name is Yahweh, uh, in the Hebrew, which is the heavenly father's true name, in the paleo Hebrew, and his only begotten son name is Yahweh, Shai, who you even call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh, Shai, in the paleo ancient hebrew and uh so with that i hope this was edifying i would like to give all praise and glory and honor to take your havel bashim your havel shah bashim rakar kadash double honors to the elders apostles of great millstone preaching his word truthfully and sincerely uh shout out to the akim scattered through four corners of the global preaching his word truthfully and sincerely and shout out to the akim that be like unto the speckled bird uh, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom.